Hi, this is Teacher Sam. Welcome to Practical Research 1. Today, we are going to talk about how to write a qualitative research title. Are you ready? Let's go! In writing a qualitative research title, you must first know what is a qualitative research. A qualitative research is a process of inquiry to understand a social or human problem. It answers the whys and hows of human behavior, opinion, and experience. There are many information that is difficult to gather through quantitative methods of data collection. So when I say quantitative methods of data collection, I mean numbers, statistics, and accuracy. To understand more, let us take a look at this difference between quantitative research and a qualitative research. A quantitative research uses numerical measurement. For example, to know the percentage of child labor cases in Balukawihai National High School. A qualitative research cannot be measured. Example, to know the reasons behind child labor cases in Balukawihai National High School. The word reasons cannot be measured. Percentage can be measured. To explain further, in qualitative research, the researchers deals with non-numerical data and interpret its meaning to understand the existing phenomena. Now that you already know what a qualitative research is, let us move on to the research title. What is a research title? A research title is the main content of your study. It must be short, but must contain the whole idea of the research. A research title has four basic elements. These are the subject matter, or what is the research study all about, the population, who are the respondents or the participants in the study, the place or the locale, where was the study conducted, and the time frame, when was the study conducted. So these four basic elements of a research title should be there in your title, but not necessarily for the time frame. Some of the research titles do not include time frame, but they have subject matter, population, and the place or the locale of the study. You can interchange these four as long as your title sounds good. Let us take a look at this given example of a research title. The playing of Mobile Legend among secondary students of Balukawihai National High School as perceived by parents, school year 2020-2021. As you can see, the four basic elements of a research title is present in the given example. The subject matter is the playing of Mobile Legends among secondary students. The locale. Balukawihai National High School. The population will be the parents, and the time frame is for school year 2020 2021. In writing your research title, you should have first your research topic. What is a research topic? The research topic is the subject matter of your research study. So, in this given example, the research topic is the playing of mobile legend among secondary students because it is the subject matter of the research study. So, how to choose a research topic? First, you must have the interest in the subject matter. The more you like your research topic, the more likely you are motivated to finish your research study. Second, availability of information. 
information will serve as evidence to support your claims throughout your research paper, so you must investigate the availability of the materials. Are these materials up to date? The copyright dates of the materials, are they new or are they old? Expert or qualification of the writers of reading materials about your topic. So you must consider those three. Number three, timeliness and relevance of the topic. How relevant is the topic? It yields results that are useful in society. So your topic must be useful in the society and must be related to the present except for pure or historical research, of course. Number four, limitations on the subject. Connect your choice with course requirements. You need to decide on one topic to finish your course. So you must uh, select one topic only. And number five, personal resources. Do an assessment on your research abilities in terms of your financial standing, health condition, mental capacity, needed facilities, and time schedule to enable you to complete your research. So you have to raise an amount of money needed to spend on questionnaire printing and interview trips. So you must consider your personal resources in selecting a research Topic. So, of course, you must select a research topic that is or uh, easy for you or that is accessible for you as a student. Now, let us move on to the research topics to be avoided. First, the controversial topics. These kind of topics depends more on the writer's opinion leading to biases and facts cannot support this kind of topics. Number two, highly technical subjects. These kind of subjects are not advisable for beginners. As these topics require an advanced study, technical knowledge, and skills. Number three, hard to investigate subjects these kind of subjects happens if there are no available reading materials about it and if such materials are not up to date number four two broad subjects so this kind of subjects prevents you from focusing on the subject matter of the paper so what is the best solution you have to narrow down or limit the broad subjects to eliminate the problem number five two narrow subjects these are subjects that are so limited where an extensive searching is necessary and number six vague subjects titles beginning with indefinite adjectives such as several many some etc as in some remarkable traits of a Filipino or several people's comments on the RH law. These kind of subjects are vague enough to decrease the reader's interest and curiosity. So you must avoid it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from me today. Goodbye!